Hey guys, SMT with G here with a new video for you. As you can see in front of you, I have an Acoustimus 10 Series 5 uh, Bose speaker set. I ordered this a couple of days ago and today it arrived uh, via the post services. So as you can see, here is the box. I already opened it and we're going to do an unboxing on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload all the components uh, from top to bottom out of this box. I'll put them on this table for you to see and then we can review each part of them. But uh, first of all, I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and we will start from there. So the first things we got out of the box are of course the manual, which was right above it. A European style plug, which I will be using since I live in Belgium. But we also got the UK power plug just in case if this was a unit that was shipped to the UK, they could use this plug as well. So those are those things that were in there. Let's take those away. The next thing we have, or next thing we have, sorry, is this letter came in the box. Bose, our commitment to you. You can pause this if you want to read it. And the next is this little like diagram which shows how to connect your speakers up to the module. But first of all, your, your receiver has to go with the big ribbon cable, as you can see here, to the base module. And then from the base module, the cables will leave to the satellites. But it's a pretty basic, simple setup. Sorry for the road, uh, I just want to say sorry for the road, the road noise in the back. Uh, my windows are open because it's a pretty hot day today, so you can hear the street noise pretty well. But uh, I'll try to keep it to a minimum. I'll try to edit it out as much as I can, if I can. <laughs> anyway, we'll continue. We're gonna put that paperwork to the side for now. Okay, I have this. The next thing that comes out is this big box with all the holes in it. I believe this is where all the satellites are in, so I'm going to take my knife. Because, as you can see, we have this seal here, like this. Oh yeah, just like I thought. So, here as you can see, I'll try to center you guys a little bit more. This is where all the speakers are. But first, in the front, we have the cables. This is the big ribbon cable. Uh, as you can see here, here are all the connections you have to uh, ins you have to connect to your AV receiver. Yeah, and I think, and I also see a blue wire, which I think is the subwoofer uh, input, because it, well, because it has um, a built-in amplified subwoofer in the base module. But all the rest of the speakers are passive, and this is the part which goes into the base module. So I'm going to put that to the side. These are the cables for the speakers, so those are the sides which connect to the base module. They're like phono jacks, but the RS sides are like these, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I'll, I'll take one out later. But the RS side are like these proprietary connectors which only fit in the rear of the speakers. I'll, I'll show you that with the ports later. And those are the RS speakers, uh, the RS speaker cables, so the rest of them. So, I'm going to take one out, so this is like one of the boxes, uh, ah, this is a center channel here, I think, I don't know, well, I'll take it out and see. <laughs> okay, first I have to be able to do it. <laughs> That spectrum really nice. Look at that. It's like a speaker sandwich. <laughs> We're gonna take it out. I do have to admire the packaging job they did. Uh, oh, here. Here's like a little tape thing. Chose unhook. 
So here we have indeed the center channel. This is the only speaker which is orientated horizontally because you have to put it in the center like underneath your TV. And all the other speakers will be like this with the Bose logo right here, but I'll show you one of those in a minute. But yeah, so the first one we have is the center channel. So what I said before with the cables being proprietary when, when you connect them to the speakers. So on the other, so the first side, I'm gonna take one again. So I'm gonna put the speaker down for a minute. So on this side, we have the part that goes into the base module, which is like a phono jack um, cable. And the other side, here you can see like an example here. Oh, it's pretty bad, I'm trying to focus, yeah. Here is like a proprietary connector, uh, which will fit here in this connector. So you cannot mess, you cannot connect it wrong, I think, because uh, the connections are like this. Uh, also a good note, all the satellite speakers are magnetically shielded, so they will not cause interference with like devices that have hard drives or television sets or whatever. But the base acoustics module was not uh, magnetically uh, shielded for as far as I know. And I'll put that to the side. We're gonna take out one of the regular speakers. So again, great packaging job as they did. That to the side again with the tape and peel that off. And so this is what's unveiled. So this is like one of the one of the uh, left, right, front, or rear channel speakers, as you can see. If you look at the drivers in them, I don't know if you can see them. It's very hard to see, but they look really, really good. Uh, they look really proper. It's not like the cheap paper stuff, but actually it looks like they have rubber surrounds on them and everything. So yeah, it looks like really high-end stuff. Again, with one of those proprietary connectors, magnetically shielded, as the symbol says right here. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, so this is like one of those satellite speakers. And the rest in the box are also, of course, again, like speakers like this. So I'm going to cut right through this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna take out the customers the customers module. My apologies, my voice is like really I I have a cold. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take out the customers module and then I'm gonna show you guys that on the table. So for the customers module I uh I grabbed you guys from the tripod because this is like it's like really big to film this thing. Uh, I I left it out of the box well, that's all the packaging that was around. It was really well packed and it's heavy. It's really heavy. <laughs> so, but I, I got it out of the box. So this is the base module unit. This is like the same design they use for a couple of years now. Um, this, this, is, this has been around for a while, this design. Uh, the only thing that's changed are the speakers. They have the new design on them. Except those, those center channels, they remind me of the same speakers they use in the Bose uh, 123 systems, you know, with the built-in DVD player and hard drive. But anyway, so this is the base module. So here you can see we have these knobs to set the base and LFE. I'm really sorry for the shaky camera work, but it was really hard filming this with a tripod. I tried, but the footage was nonsense, so in handheld mode, it's much easier to go around. So this is the front of the unit. This is the side. As you can see here are two radiators for the two subs that are inside. Um, subs are like two speakers inside, which handle low frequencies. And this is the rear side of the unit. Uh, like I said, it does have a built-in transformer because you have to apply power. Uh, because although this is a passive system, the subwoofers built in, they require, they, uh, they have a built-in separate amplifier to drive them. Uh, only the satellites, they are actually really passive. Uh, so yeah, so this is it Again from the sides here Now I'm gonna turn this thing around and show you the guys in the, the ports on the on the on the bottom So this is the units on its side. I'm really sorry for the bad camera work here, but this is the best I can do I put it on my sofa so I didn't scratch the unit as you can see 
So here are the two drivers I mentioned, which do the bass uh, frequencies. They're not exactly goodly visible because they're really like black. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where they are. And here are the connections. As you can see, mains powers in, speaker outputs with the jacks, like I said. And this is the input for the big rhythm cable, which comes from your AV receiver. And here is some information about the product. So yeah, so that's it. And that's actually all to it. So now I'm going to start with the setup progress. And once it's finished, I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. Hey guys, so here I am again. Uh, believe it or not, this section of the, of the video is shot at least a month or a month and a half later. Uh, because I just, well, I, I run out of time to continue filming this, uh, this video because a lot of it has changed because I, I changed jobs and all that, you know, I still drive a truck, but I, I drive at a different company. But anyhow, that's not, uh, that's not of importance here. Uh, so we were talking about the Bose system. So we just seen the unboxing, uh, the different satellite speakers, the, uh, uh bass module or a custom S module, uh, that you get with the system. Now, as you can see, um, I already set everything up because like I said, we are a month, a uh, month and a half later and I already hooked up uh, everything. So I'm going to show you guys my setup, but for that, I will have to take you guys from the tripod and I will move around, uh, with you and show you what I've, what I've done exactly for this setup. And at the end of the video, I will give you, uh, give you my opinion of the system. So, uh, so I'm just going to unhook you guys from the tripod now. Here we go. So as you can see, here is, uh, here is one of the speakers, uh, the left front uh, speaker. For those of you who did not know, here is my AV receiver. I am using um, Maran's uh, SR7015. Uh, uh, that's my vintage Philips CD player on top. So as you can see, here is one of the speakers. This is my left front speaker. Here I have uh, placed the center, the center speaker. And of course, right there is the uh, front right speaker. And then if we move to the rear, excuse this, <laughs> my drink. So here we have the right rear speaker, because if I lay on my bed, that, that is on the, on the right side for me. And on the other side over there, between all the junk and the cola bottle, you can see the other speaker for the other side. Excuse the mess in my room, it's just how it is. And of course, most importantly, here is the custom S bass module, which I just put here down the side to hide my power brick behind it. And yeah, excuse these cables, those are internet cables coming from the other wall because my modem is in the room next door. So everything is coming in through here. So yeah, so this is basically it. So as you can see on the, on the rear of the, the custom S module, we have a lot of cables going in. The big ribbon cable you see over here, the big wide one, that is the one that's coming from the receiver with all the uh, connections from the outputs. Also, there's one cable between uh, in here that also carries a line input jack for the uh, LFE channel, this is for the low frequency base. And here we have different outputs. Uh, here, those cables, those are like the the, phone, the jack cables that I told to connect the speakers, they all come from this subwoofer, which I've explained in the, the previous part of this video, when I unboxed everything, what the cables do, and they all go to the different speakers, because everything from the receiver first has to go into the acoustic module here in the rear, and then everything from the acoustic module leaves in different cables to the different speakers, because all of the crossover network for the little speakers is built into the acoustic module. I don't know if you can see very well down there, but you can see uh, different kind of capacitors. Uh, they're all Nichicon branded capacitors, so it's it's good quality. I'm happy for that because Nichicons do last a, lot, a long time. You can see a power transformer for the built-in amplifier for the low basses, and here we have uh, like all the yeah. For as far as you can see, you can see the capacitors and all that that probably handle the frequency and protection of the small speakers so yeah so uh, i'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod i will show you guys uh, a few settings and i will give you my opinions on it so i'll put you guys on, on the tripod now 
So I've put you, so I've put you guys back on the tripod again, and uh, well, I was going to give you my opinion about system and how it sounds and all that. But first, I want to show you guys a little something. Uh, if you connect this system up to a digital AV receiver, uh, there are a few small settings you have to uh, change in order for the for the acoustic mask to work as perfectly as possible. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the settings that they explained in the manual. Uh, of the system so that is what I'm going to show you guys right now so uh, when using a digital AV receiver like I'm doing right now uh, the best thing you can do is go to your settings or your setup menu and you have to go to speakers now, I'm using a manual setup because I uh, I tried using Odyssey with my Marantz receiver but I ran into a lot of trouble so I I, did, I always did the manual setup but the most important thing that you have to do is here in speaker configuration, it is important that you put the speakers to large. Uh, many people will probably think, no, you have to put them on, on small because of course the little Bose speakers right there are of course small speakers. But the way the system works is uh, the acoustics module right there in the corner. Uh, handles all the bass frequencies, not just the very low frequencies, but, but also the, the regular bass frequencies of the small speakers. So like I said, everything that is leaving from the receiver, uh, you know, in, in form of sound, uh, goes first to the acoustics module and then it goes to the small speakers. So actually what's happening is, so the acoustics module takes the full range of the, of the sound that it receives per channel and then filters it so it will take the low ends and put them through the drivers in the acoustics module and the high ends will come out in the satellite speakers so it's actually very important that you change the settings if it's necessary for your receiver that you put all the speakers to large the speakers that you use so as you can see the front are large center is large subwoofer is one speaker because i only have the acoustics module hooked up via the lfe cable and of course your surrounds are also large so it's important that you do that so that the every channel gets the full frequency response so when you've done that you can leave this menu and also very important is when you go to base you have to make sure your subwoofer mode is set to LFE because the acoustics module uses a separate channel for the LFE because you also have two, uh, two volume pots on the side that, that I showed you in the first part of the video. And you want to change subwoofer mode to LFE. You can also do LFE plus main, but you want LFE only. And try to set the LFE to 80 Hertz. That's usually the lowest uh, a rece uh, AV receiver can do by itself. But if you can put it to 80 Hertz, uh, try setting it to 80 Hertz. So that is the most important thing uh, I wanted to tell you guys. Now, another thing I wanted to mention was, of course, what I thought about the system, and I personally truly love it. Um, now, I'm going to be honest, I used to have speakers of Bowers & Wilkins before I used the setup, uh, but they were old speakers, they were from 1989, I used the BMW DM580 series. Uh, those speakers were fine and all that, but they took up a lot of space, so the reason why I bought the Bose system was of course to save on space and that is exactly what what this setup does i mean you only have the like the small cubicle speakers uh five pieces of them and just a little bit bitter, bigger is the uh, bose acoustics module but that's okay because i can just you can just put it in a corner and and forget about it so yeah in that regard the system is very good in saving space but of course in sound quality it is very good i am very impressed with the highs uh, the high tones on the bose systems are are very good uh, i'm not using any kind of equalization i can show you guys that um, i don't use uh, equalization or anything wait i have to go to audio because it's simply not necessary with this setup so as you can see the graphics equalizer is off I don't use that because it's just not necessary. The, the basses are good, the highs are very perfect, the mids are very good. It's it's very good arranged sound, and I think that is where Bose is known for because you you have like you know it's it, it has a good character profile and sound. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Bose is the best brand out there, definitely not. Uh, there were advantages my uh, Bowers and Wilkins speakers had over these uh, speakers, but. Um, 
for what they are. I'm very content with them because like I said, they don't have a big footprint. They deliver great sound, uh, crisp, clear sound, uh, good highs. Uh, are they a direct replacement for BMW or, or, or K K KLF speakers or, or anything or NADs? No, they're not. Bose is not the best brand, but for what it is, I, I really like them. And I like the sound pro profile of them. So for me, they are more than excellent. Um, and also the advantages now I have a full 5.1 setup with the same speakers because in the past I used to mix speakers. I had two DM580 speakers for left and right. I had a center channel of BMW, which was from another generation. And my rear speakers were like small GBL speakers I used. So it, it wasn't a great combination, but if I had to invest and change everything to BMW, then I would lost a lot more money. And like I said, the problem of the footprint wouldn't have been solved because I usually have large speakers, but those are all small speakers. They, they came in a bundle. You have a matching acoustic module, which is tuned to the small speakers. All you have to do is, is connect it, just change a few small settings in your AV receiver and you're good to go. And that was like, you know, the, the thing I wanted it. So now I have ease of use, I have great sound, um, my Marantz works perfectly with them. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, so yeah, so this was actually my talk about the Bose, um, about the Bose uh, speakers, the Custom S uh, 10 uh, Series 5. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm not letting you hear a, a, a sample about the, uh, uh, why I'm not letting you hear a sample. But uh, the thing is, if, uh, if you listen to it via YouTube, you, you are listening to compressed sound. Uh, the camera of my phone is, is not that great in picking up sound as well. So you, you would not hear the way it, you were supposed to hear it. So you would not hear it justice. And of course the problem is I cannot uh, let you guys hear anything copyright related or else my video will just not, not be shown. So yeah, so, so that's that's my review of it. I hope you liked it. This is my first video for the SMT with G channel. Um, so yeah, I I hope you guys liked it. Sorry for all my rambling. I will try to turn it down a notch in future videos. But hey, uh, it was fun having you all here. And uh, now I'm gonna continue. So have a great uh, day. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one.